why you've written two musicals based on the Odyssey, one for the public and one for Juilliard. Yes, and they're entirely. So why are you so drawn to these Greek myths? Uh, I don't know. Um, but you know, an interesting You're fact. Very I was Greek tell active. You. Well, I was going to tell you an interesting thing about Athena that just occurred to me, and I never tied it to this show until this very second, is that one of the things that Athena does in the Odyssey is assume the shape of other people to guide Telemachus to finding his father. Like she's the, suddenly she's like a sailor or suddenly she's like this old man. Like Athena, it's just thinking of that lyric of jumping from person to person and mm -hmm. finding me. I'd never made that connection before. Mm -hmm. I mean, some I love I mean, I guess I did. So um, she's a shapeshifter. Yeah, I don't know why Athena, I think it's been forced, it's been like foisted upon me, mm -hmm. this, this idea of mm -hmm. Athena, because I, neither of those musical adaptations were my idea, oh, yeah. uh, and... Um, Maybe they were Athena's idea. Something. The goddess's idea. I mean, she's also an, she's represented by an owl, which I, you know, I'm mm -hmm. sort of conscious whenever mm -hmm. I see that. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. It's, mm -hmm. I feel drawn to her, and I don't mm -hmm. know why. Would you like to sing a song about her? Yes. Okay. Now, should I tell the very off-color story? Oh, yeah, no. About... Now, now, this is the kind of audience that Courtney Love attracts <laughs> to the theater, okay? Not you. Uh, I'm not talking about you. Okay. It's not always about you. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, tell. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to sing this next song. And um, it's near the end of the show. We've gone back in time. We've met... This, this woman, we've had this relationship, we've had sex, we've got married, we've broken up, she's gone off to chase the sirens, I've gone to look for her in this, in this um, uh, uh, kind of mythological journey to the underworld to try to find her body from another myth. But uh, we're at the end of the show, and the story is very clear of what's happened to this woman uh, through his eyes. And uh, this one performance in Boston, I was getting right there's all this chaos on stage. There's six dancers, there's a string quartet, there's techno beats, there's Courtney, and then all of a sudden, like, all of that goes away, and it's just me. And um, I'm about to sing this song, and I hear, I'm going to do this, sorry. Uh, you'll know why in a second. Uh, the, the, I hear this girl sitting right here just turn to her friend and say, yeah. <laughs> and I'm standing here, like, feeling things and, and, uh, and thinking, okay, well, she's got, like, two or three more songs to get through. It's not that long of a show. She's, she'll be okay. Or she can, that means it's, like, right there. She can walk across the stage. It's fine. So I start singing this next song, which I'm about to sing. And she peeps. <laughs> in the front row. I'm this far away from her. <laughs> Myself, so I'll just pee right here. <laughs> I went backstage afterwards, and after the show, he said, Courtney, somebody peed during my slide. <laughs> she was like, let's rock. <laughs> a memorial to the great world war it built a museum under that they put windows where the ceiling should be and they put pictures of you on the new and under the glass ceiling the people are whispering story goes there were heroes there was war we remember we shoot pictures we shoot fire 
works and we should more I am a girl I am a daughter I am in a museum You came down and we did this to you. Peeing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I almost peed shit. Uh.